Don't even look at them. Do your own thing. Be on your own path. Study. It is important. Nobody just gets straight A's without studying. Okay. Don't be fooled. <laughs> even in university, you get those. Um, who, you know, you ask, hey, how was the test or whatever? Or not even how was the test, but your, the topic that um, we've been dealing with was so hard or is so hard can you please assist me and then the person is like oh you know i don't get it but you know i just i just calculate and then a person comes out with a 98 percent, and then you're there like you just calculate what are you talking about you know so look um i am 100 percent in agreement with everyone um i got cut off a number of times so there's a lot of things that i missed and i was unable to like just make link, but I got the gist of it. You know, the one thing I want to speak to those viewers who are, you know, able. There's a lot of people who are able, but they're unwilling. Um, to those viewers, nothing comes easy in life. I think we're living in a time where we've got a lot of exploiters who are exploiting people in the sense that you know, um, they, 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 they're teaching people, or not even teaching, but they're preaching a song of, like, get rich quick kind of thing, you know. And um, we get a lot of uh, naysayers about uh, furthering your education. There's this whole thing that working a nine-to-five job, whatever, 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 we're different people with different paths, with different abilities and capabilities, right? So you need to identify where you fall. You need to understand where you fall. You need to understand your ability, right? And you need to then cultivate that and work on that. But then understand that there's another person who has to get that nine to five job and work for that salary and whatever. If you were fortunate enough to come up with a brilliant idea and it cashed in millions for you, you know, um, that's great and that's amazing. And that doesn't mean it's the only way to become successful. And I think I want to speak to those who um, have tried, you know, the pushing that 8% and it's just not going above that 30% pass mark, you know, that you needed to go to. You've consulted, you've done everything. Right? I, I think I want to speak a lot to those viewers because there's a lot, there are a lot of people who are like that. And the unfortunate part, I've seen so many who, end up struggling because um, regardless of the amount of effort that they've put in, because it has not yielded the results that they would have desired, um, back down with that thing of, I can't do it. I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough. And I want such people to understand that, no, there's no such thing as you, you can't or that you're not good enough, right? Then you, you need to just basically go back and step back and say, look, university or tertiary basically is not the only way you can become successful right then just identify what are you able to do you know and um going like furthering your education is very important right and i think even in in cultivating a skill and working on something it is important to still go back i think you know there's there's so many um institutions of higher learning and you just need to make sure that you find the right one but there's so many that that can help you to better a skill you know what i mean um you don't necessarily have to go to the university of pretoria or the or vets or whatever do you understand and study um actuarial science for example to become successful to become something however um where you have been unable to reach that goal look and see that okay what am I able to do? I'm really creative, you know, and I've got this great idea. I'm able to make shoes, for example. We're living in a country where there's so much unemployment. If you were to take that creativity and you were to turn it into a business, you don't necessarily have to be business savvy. You just get uh, people who are business savvy to help you, you know. Um, I think Lisekho and Maseko said something about 
um, ask him for help. You know, you say that, look, I've got this amazing idea, right? Um, and I, I think I'm able to do this or I'm able to push this and that. How can I turn this into something that is fruitful? You know, but I am really one for not giving up. You know, I think one of the points that I wanted to really make was that um, our current education system basically makes, I think to a great extent, um, it leaves a lot of people thinking that they, they're less than, you know, and it's, it's not necessarily that way. I think also just, you know, I mean, like you had said that with, with the math thing where they're just like, okay, no, if you don't get a, uh, if you don't get a 60 for math in grade nine, uh, you can't do math, you know, go to maths light or maths lit or whatever, right? And then a person starts thinking, and then even amongst the kids and the students and stuff, there's a whole thing, you know, oh, ah, but I'm a maths, maths lead. You know, like, it's, it's, there's just this negativity that if you're unable to do a particular thing a particular way, then that's the only, like, there's, there's only one measure of, intelligence and, and being smart and whatever and it's how amazing your results are and, whatever. and i am speaking to those kids who or those people who you might not necessarily be there where you would like to in terms of your marks and things like that but you are able you've got skills you've got abilities take those skills take those abilities and make them with you you know in order for you to be able to be successful and once you've gotten to at least the beginning of where you would like to go um go back again to see how can you then take this that you're able to do and make it even bigger, you know, and in that way, and in so doing, you're still forwarding your education. But I think people should not also be too stuck on, um, and like I say, I'm not speaking to that genius who's just chilling and smoking weed the whole time instead of studying. I'm speaking to that kid who is in the library, right, right now and pushing and still goes and gets a 10% in that test that they've been cross nighting. I know people who were like that, a person who would have notes on notes for business studies and still gets kicked by the test, having studied and pushed, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to those people that go, don't, don't allow that to stop you from, from using your skills. Don't allow academics to be the only thing that determine whether or not you'll be able to be successful. You know, um, look at what you're able to do. We've got hands. I think um, we've been blessed with abilities, hands, sight, speech. If you've got a beautiful voice, use that. Find out. Go to a restaurant. Go and say, okay, hey, here's this nice cafe. It's so nice. It's got a nice vibe. You speak to the manager and you're like, listen, um, how about I do a cappella music for you? Just sing um, uh, for 15 minutes for your guests. You don't have to pay me, you know? Trust and believe one day someone is going to be in that restaurant that is going to say, listen, you've got the most epic and the most amazing voice. And you know what? Come through. Or even your manager, now that manager sees that there's, there's more people coming in and it's just like, listen, I'm going to need you to come in every night now and starts paying you for it, you know? So my point is, don't give, like people must not give up because I didn't get into engineering, into accounting science, into um, law, I didn't get into university even, or I didn't get into college. Go, but also people need to make an analysis and um, you, need to do, you need to do something that is relevant for your ability. Like it doesn't make sense for me to, to hate blood, uh, yet I want to go and become a surgeon. You know, look at what you're able to do, look at what you love, let there be a sink, and, but never give up and ask and yeah. But, all, you know, one of the other things that um, I've, I've come to realize as well, and uh, just from conversations with people who are working and stuff, is that um, the one thing furthering your education also helps you with, um, this is just for the point of going for, uh, um, like into university and stuff, the one thing that it helps you with is also becoming very decent. Um, and what I mean by that is that um, my cousin uh, had a senior who basically worked her way to the top. So not necessarily qualified in anything, but just had experience, work experience, and they were able to be a senior executive in a company, right? And, you know, you get this person who goes around 
saying things such as, um, I need you to do this and that uh, task and I need it on my desk at eight o'clock, otherwise I'll fire you. You know, things like that. Um, yet people who are, I want to say educated, but like people who further their education and whatever, you learn how to deal properly with people, how to how to um, engage people properly and how to be decent, how to be professional. You know, I think that's one other thing that you tend to learn um, from furthering your education, how to be professional, you know. So that's a point for uh, furthering your education. But however, it's not every way you're going to need to be professional. Some things really you need, if you're going to be a dancer on stage, you're going to need to be professional. Uh, professional. So just on that, I just like thought of something now. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed. So employers, when they employ people, they don't just look at the skills and qualifications, but at your character and what else? Character and attitude, yeah. So they don't, because it, it makes sense, because if, if, they employ, if they employ you just based on your skills, then what is there a need for an interview? You get my point? I mean, they're not going to ask, in an interview, they're not going to ask you what you got in maths or physics or whatever. They want to know you as a person, you know. So uh, before going to university, know who you are, know what you need to work on, you know. If you can't deal well with people, then eh, teaching is not for you. Or if you want to be a teacher, but you can't work well with students, then okay, try to work on that. Then maybe you might become one, you see. So um, know what to work on. Um, then you know uh, that, okay, yes, I have the skill, but then, um, yeah, this is what I'll be doing. Yeah. Can I just add to that? So uh, I know that um, in high school, I think in grade eight or grade nine, we used to have aptitude tests. So those tests would actually determine what skills you're good in, what you're passionate about, what you really like. So those would actually lead us into choosing the subjects that we wanted to choose um, in the senior years, um, grade 10. So I think a part of those aptitude tests, tests kind of determine which direction you would go. So it's not necessarily that you have to go further, but you have a bit of an idea in high school already as to like which direction will you go. So not all hope is lost for those people that actually can't further their education because some of them can't further their education because they don't have the resources to. So it's for people like that who, you know, they can just use their aptitude. You need to work hard at everything that you do in life. And um, people need to get out. I, I made a point about uh, people basically scamming others, you know, on get rich quick schemes. And people want a quick fix. Like people want to, become successful tomorrow people want to be rich tomorrow do you understand like it's like i want to wake up and i i need that cash and you know you 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 need to people need to understand that everything in life takes hard work if a person is successful at 21 it's not because it just that success fell out of the sky it's because they were busy you know doing something we, i mean um shimani made a point about uh, his friend who wanted to get into music and was talking about um, uh, that he doesn't need to further his education or anything like that. And there's people like Casper, right? Before Casper and your vest became successful, I don't know if he made this point because I got cut off, but before Casper and your vest became successful, there were years of work that was put in, you know, before he got to where he is right now. And it's a thing of, you know, you get people who are just like, you know, I want to be successful and I want, I want to basically just chill and money just come through. And I'm just like, that is not going to happen, do you understand? Because even those people who it looks like they're just chilling and money is just coming in, they're busy, do you understand? They're working. And I think no matter what you do, hard work is very important, you know, and more so if you decide not to further your education. Like furthering your education kind of does a third of the work for you, but you need to still put in the like two thirds, right? If you don't go for the education, fine, but you need to put in the work, do you understand? You need to put in all of that work and you can still become successful, but it's so like people must let go of this whole thing of, yeah, no, why do I have to go to university? I can just be rich and do whatever, start working now, 
or start a business or whatever. It, it, it takes work, it takes skill, it takes a creative idea, you know. Um, who's this Mark Zuckerberg did not just come up with an algorithm to start Facebook J and then it was successful first time. No, it took work to make it work, you know, studying, putting in the work and people tend to feel like there is a way to just do nothing and become successful. And there's no such thing, like no way in the world. Show me someone that has ever done that and I'd like to speak to them. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree um, with what Kevin has just said. It's, it's, there's, there's this just, I feel like there's just a lot of behind the scenes that we don't see. And people take, take that for granted that, like one of the things I always say is that when you see somebody who's successful at something, it means that they've put a thousand hours at that thing so that they're successful at it. Yeah, and, and I, I'm not, not, not everybody has to go to like, to, to university and all this thing. Uh, you just have to know that to be successful at anything, you need to work hard. Like for instance, footballers are like one of the richest people in, in the world, like, cause they make millions in a week. You see, but one of the things we don't know about footballers is that they take a commitment to start playing football at the age of six. Like they go to a football academy. I'm not talking about South Africa where, you know, yeah, but like proper professional footballers. <laughs> they, they start their footballing career at the age of six. When you're in preschool, whether they're in an academy, they go to school, they come back from school, they go and practice football. And this is this is their life. Like, and then when you see the person at 19, 18, and then you have your Kylian Mbappe, your Trent Alexander Arnold, or all these young stars that you see, you you think that oh, this guy just started kicking a ball yesterday, but he's been doing this thing his whole life. So my point is, as Kevin was saying, there's actually a lot of hard work that goes behind the scene. And if you're just gonna come out with a lazy attitude and say you don't really need to do anything. I'll get rich quickly. It's, it's, that's not how it is. The world will teach you that everything you get, you need to work very hard for. The little that you have, you have to work very hard for. You see, I remember in my years of tax that there used to be engineering week, right? So you would study so much <laughs> to get 50%. <laughs> so I used to ask myself, so <laughs> what am I supposed to do to get 90%? And then you would find out that you have to study very very hard, look at past papers, consult, so many things that have to work together so that you get this beautiful mark or this high, very high mark. So like as Kevin is saying, there's actually a lot of hard work that goes behind the scene and we don't see it, but we just see a finished product. So I think for everyone who's watching and if you're in high school and everything, I feel I just want you to know that if, if you want to be successful at anything, just know that hard work is the minimum requirement of any success that you see. It is the minimum requirement. That, like diligence is the minimum requirement of anything successful that you see. And then comes other things. But if you're not willing to work hard, then I don't, I'm sorry, you're not going to make it. Let me just put it like that. Like you're not going to make it if you don't work hard, to be honest. Yeah. Can I, um, I think just to like emphasize, I think in both um, situations, whether you're going to, whether you're education or not, hard work is like the ultimate thing that you need to have. And just like to round it in um, biblical terms, um, it is said somewhere uh, that a little more sleep or a little more folding of arms and poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. And I think it's true. Like if you're gonna be lazy and not wanna work and just expect things to happen quickly, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. So at the end of the day, I think we all just need to work hard. Whatever it is you're doing, work hard. Yeah, and don't be fooled by social, um, what's the social media life, you know, we. We get carried away. We see these Bentleys, um, you know, these, you know, these these cars and stuff, and then we're like, you know what? I'm gonna get that tomorrow and stuff. Like it's it's almost like we have that in our minds and stuff. No, no, no. Um, those guys work hard. 
um, you also need to work hard. It's all about working hard and not giving up. And I like what you said, Kevin, like keep on pushing. You know, I, I see passion as, you know, like there's a helicopter. Maybe if, maybe like there's a helicopter and someone is uh, throwing a rope and then you're holding on to that rope. So that's like, for me, that's like passion, you know, you, you're holding on to that. If you let go, you're going to fall, you know? So you keep holding on to what you believe in, you know, um, to, to your passion and it'll, it'll get you somewhere, you know, um, rather than falling. Mm. And even if like, you don't have the support that you are getting from, you know, the people around you, um, don't let them bring you down. Okay. They don't get your vision. At the end of the day, it is your life. You are the one in control. Okay. So when, when all is done, you are by yourself, actually, you know, so make sure that whatever that you're doing, you are doing it for yourself because it's your life at the end of the day. Just make sure that you are happy with your story. Okay. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything. Who are they? They are not you. Just because someone failed at something, that does not reflect on you. It has nothing to do with you. That was their own journey. They failed in their journey, but it is your journey now and you have to make your own journey. Be unapologetic with your decisions.